on and use a mic stand. So. <laughs> Hello everyone, how are we? Are we good? <laughs> so my name is CJ Hopkins and uh, you saw me earlier do my Pinocchio number and you might remember but wondered what that was about. Um, basically, uh, I make performances, different styles of performances, uh, for any of the trauma that's happened in my love life. Which is my whole life. So um, there's different phases. Pinocchio is when I moved to London um, just a few years ago and got into the crazy party scene. Um, I'm not there now. I'm performing and very in a very good place. Uh, but I'm now going to talk to you about my first love, um, and this is a different time. Okay, this is a very different time. Uh, this was my teenage years, which Aww. yes, Aww. Yeah, yes. Yeah. <laughs> And people, uh, first of all, we need to talk about uh, online dating and finding other people to date back then was very, very different. Um, as a gay man, a lot of people are very, uh, they are very derogatory about Grindr, but if you use Grindr in this day and age and you want to send someone a message, you get a little message tone and it sounds like this. Uh -huh. Is that cute? Like a bird chirping. Very cute. I uh, used to date, there was a website called gaydar.co.uk. <laughs> And it was how you would find other men in the area. And to get online, I had to use a something called a PC. Do we know what a PC is? <laughs> and uh, to get online, you had to use something called a dial-up modem. <laughs> and if you're unfamiliar with how a dial-up modem sounds, it sounds like this. long time to even get online to try and meet somebody. And then when you meet somebody, the loading times, I normally have a picture of a man when I do this, but I haven't got the picture of the man, so pretend this is a picture of a man. The loading times are like this. <laughs> That's an hour. So you would be deciding if you wanted to meet someone from their scalps, literally. <laughs> so the very first man I met for a uh, piece of a piece of sexual interaction. Yes. 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 Oh, yeah. I am so hot. Um, a piece of sexual interaction. I'd say it's a quite awkward person. Um, was someone I met through gaydar.co.uk that I didn't really know very well. And it was a little bit traumatic. And what I did is I made a spoken word piece oh. about, I know, about the experience. Is it okay if I can read that to you? Uh, yeah. If you said no, I'm not sure what I would have done. <laughs> now, I've never been to a poetry slam before, a spoken word piece, but what the kids do these days is I'm going to do a rhyming couplet, and after I've done it, you're going to click. So everyone yeah. click. Thank you so much. You can add the asses as well. I love the ass. Right. Now, um, I'm going to do this. Uh, it's also, I just have to ask, it's a little bit crude. I'm going to ask this. It sounds like a weird question from someone that took all of his clothes off in front of you, um, but am I okay to be a bit rude? Yeah. Yes. Yes. No! No! <laughs> then you can leave. <laughs> Please stay. <laughs> I would drop the mic, it's very expensive, so I'm not going to. Okay, a poem by CJ Hopkins. Oh. <laughs> That's me. It's the early 2000s. What a time to be alive. <laughs> Trying to find a boyfriend using Windows 95. <laughs> Poem once at a venue, and I said that line, and someone went, 1995, that's the year I was born! <laughs> They're dead. <laughs> Perhaps a little naive, I was looking for romance. I'd do anything to find it, so I gave Gaydar a chance. <laughs> Excellent. Excellent. And suddenly, a message 
my heart was racing front it. A man said, what you into? <laughs> it was ever so romantic. <laughs> he wanted to come see me. He said, let's have some fun and do some lines. I hadn't done a script read since my Christmas pantomime. <laughs> I was actually this naive, but I was really naive. This is a place of truth. I knew he was a stranger, but I ignored the risk. He would be my disc drive, and me his floppy disc. Do, do we know what a floppy disc is? What an ideas by, so. Old school USB, if you don't know what it is. And to my house he came, I had my prince come to my palace. I showed him my kitten. He showed me his phallus. I prepared him dinner. A gorgeous chicken korma. He prepared his private parts about to cause me trauma. <laughs> spat in my face. Oh, a real turn on for them. <laughs> me a little taken back to be covered in his phlegm. Now can I just, oh my god this rot, sorry, don't touch it. Um, now can I just talk about the spitting in the face because some people are over there, oh, some people are like, ooh. <laughs> I'm all down to the kids, right? I'm pretty vanilla myself, but I'm very open-minded. But can you let me know if you're going to spit in my face before you do it? This is a part of the public. I can sense that the first time someone spat in my face, it was all going really hard, we were getting it on, we were slogging, we were doing it. I hadn't been doing it, I worked on cruise ships for eight years, I hadn't been down with what was sexually to date. Someone decided spitting was the thing. So this guy pinned me up against the fridge and gopped in my face. He then went down and continued activities while I was like... <laughs> First. I feel like there could be a rhyming couplet there with anti back and bull sack. I'll work on it. I should work for Clinton Clark. I was nervous to continue, but he kept on insisting. It's going to get really rude now, guys. Yes. I just wanted cuddles. Aww. He just wanted fisting. Go, Can I say this as well? I did this poem once for my one man show that I used to do, and my mum was in the crowd. My fifth, uh, fifth real lesbian mother. Amazing, amazing. And I told her, I was like, it's a bit crude, it's a bit crude. The show is a bit crude. Um, and I was a bit like, she was doing well with the jokes, and then on the fisting line, I was like, I think I probably lost her. I looked round to the right, and there was my mum, beaming with pride, filming. <laughs> by the way, sorry, I've got rage one, but, really but she was filming, and like literally, she went to work on Monday, she's like, Kathy, you said your son's a lawyer, here's my son's fisting poem! <laughs> we love my mum, we love Dada. She's a lawyer. I'll continue. He told me I could trust him, and that he means no harm. This coming from a man who wants to fuck me with his arm. Away, <laughs> away, <laughs> It was all becoming sexual. I started to lose hope. I really didn't feel secure, even though tied up in rope. <laughs> he asked if he could film us. I panicked and said yes. Back then it wasn't only fans, we filmed on VHS. <laughs> we actually did. <laughs> the video has been taped over with an episode of EastEnders a long time ago. <laughs> And it was about 50 minutes of me crying, so you wouldn't want to see it, you wouldn't want to see it. I wanted a gentleman to introduce to mum. To him I was just a canvas to cover in his cum. <laughs> this wasn't what I wanted. I said, get up, just leave. I don't want a man who wants my bottom as a sleeve. <laughs> Festivities, big fan, big fan. No, festivities. 
accepting Foxy as a <laughs> And just like that, he left me. I want him back, I had the urge. I ran downstairs to find him, fucking my concierge. <laughs> I'm actually from a very poor council estate in Southampton, if you couldn't tell, but concierge right, so. <laughs> I can't, I'm just doing it this side so you can get pictures of me, because I'm not, you don't count, what do you want to do, down? No, just do, sorry. Sexy. More sexy. Uh, sorry, sorry, I'm not sexy right now. I can't believe it's over. It's emotional. My tears come down in showers. My longest relationship. It had been three hours. <laughs> You're so sweet. <laughs> I thought we'd buy a house. <laughs> Shop for flat packs in Ikea. But he couldn't give me love. He just gave me gonorrhea. <laughs> I know. I thought my first love would take my virginity, but he left me unanaled <laughs> and took my MP3. <laughs> <laughs> it's 2000s. MP3s are very expensive back then. <laughs> I bought myself a teddy and I named it after him. I only had his profile name, so I called it Likes to Rim. <laughs> And if I can give a lesson from this love forever dead, is never meet the stranger, just have a wank instead. <laughs> 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 <laughs>